What's up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code CE-34224-5, or cannot start the application. So a couple of people reached out to me how they were like playing Fortnite or Call of Duty, and when they try to like literally start the game, that error pops up. So some people have said, and I would always recommend this first, they like deleted and reinstalled the game, that didn't help, they did the rebuild database, reinitialized the PlayStation 4, and I was like, alright, that's a little interesting. If those aren't working, there has to be another fix for this. And there is. So there's a few things you can kind of do. First, I would recommend is deleting the game. Actually, delete the game. So if it's Fortnite or whatever, delete the game. And then what I'd recommend you to do is go into settings. And in settings, go into account management and do restore licenses. So interestingly enough, there's a possibility that, like I always say, like there's a connection error happening where your PlayStation 4 is not kind of like linking to the software or to the servers or whatever you want to call it. And this kind of like helps like resolve set that issue. A lot, I, I kind of like message people to kind of like see if that's what they tried. I kind of did research online also. This did help as well. And depending on how many games you have, this might take some time. It shouldn't take too long. It should take less than five minutes anyways. But it could take a certain time. But yeah, this is like one of the first like this is what i would recommend delete the game restore your licenses re-download the game and then you should be good to go so this should kind of like help fix that issue uh like i said some people they've been having errors because of this for some reason another tip i've kind of haven't tried this one out but i recommend this to you because i've seen a few people kind of actually mention this is turn off your playstation 4 and unplug your power cord and kind of plug it back in that helps as well f for some reason for some people that helped but that one doesn't seem too logical to me from like a game error perspective but hey you can try it if that this doesn't work for you but like i said this one i've tried i've tested it out with a few people this did work so i would highly recommend you kind of like testing this out as well deleting the game restoring your licenses re-downloading the game and playing the game you should then be good to go and be able to like essentially get into the game and play so yeah <laughs> um so yeah overall that's basically it uh if you guys still have any comments questions concerns please let me know in the comment section below more than happy to help you guys out if you overall like this video please smash that like button helps a lot and if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and that welcome out